Well, we made it, folks. It's the last day of 2023, and you know, I couldn't let this day go by without another potential Nintendo Switch 2 rumor, report, whatever you want to call this. Look, I'm on record, and you guys know by now that I think the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out next year. I don't think that is a far-fetched idea. There's a lot of big insiders that also believe this. We have Andy Robinson, who thinks it's coming next year. We obviously have Nate the Hate, who thinks it's coming next year, although... I seem to recall Nate the Hate also telling us about the Switch Pro and its imminent reveal way back when that never happened. So, look, I think he misspoke. In fact, I think if I remember right, Nate the Hate actually tried to retract what he said the exact same day he said it, realizing he worded it pretty poorly. But either way, he was acting like it was coming for a bit. Obviously, we know we'd ended up not getting the Nintendo Switch Pro, and there's a pretty logical explanation for it. Pandemic, right? The pandemic hit and probably caused a lot of cancellations and delays of several, several things and not well beyond Switch Pro. But whether or not you believe Switch Pro existed or not, Nintendo is working on a next generation system. And we don't need to look to rumors. We don't need to look to, you know, speculation out there to know this. Nintendo themselves said it directly in 2021. Now, they didn't say it was a Switch 2. A lot of people get mad about that terminology. Get over it. It's a placeholder. But they did say... Back in 2021, in an investor's meeting, they put up a slide that Nintendo accounts are moving forward to Nintendo's next generation device, releasing in 20XX. So Nintendo announced in 2021 to investors that there was going to be another system after Switch. And obviously, if Nintendo accounts are forward compatible to it, they had have already been working on said system. Now, Nintendo has since then, and this was 2021, in multiple investors' meetings said, when asked about a new system, that they can't talk about it, but that they obviously are always working on new hardware. So clearly there is something coming. And then in the most recent investors meeting, Furukawa decided to talk about a couple of the rumors floating out there, trying to debunk them, or if not entirely deny them, at least say that they're not entirely accurate and all of that stuff, which Nintendo never comments on rumors. So the fact that they are just made people believe the system must be coming even sooner because they want to clarify some things before it gets announced. Again, we don't really know 100% what's going on. We just know that there is something coming. And I do believe that that is going to happen in 2024 because I do think Nintendo is trying to maintain momentum. And this isn't the say Nintendo Switch isn't doing incredible. It's just noting they have a pretty light lineup so far next year. Uh, they projected, you know, their third straight year of sales decline. And look, when you're in decline, you want to get it back on the upswing. So I do think the way to do that is brand new hardware. Now, setting all that aside, what are we talking about today? Why is this the topic for this video besides the fact that I just love talking about Nintendo Switch 2? Well, we have this ad up at this agency in the UK that has worked with Capcom and others in the past that are partners with Nintendo, and they seem to be shooting an ad for a brand new handheld gaming system or gaming console ad. Let's just go ahead and take a look at this, and we're going to go over the fact that this might not be Nintendo Switch 2 related. I'll, I'll, I'll throw something out there. It could be, but it also might be. It's not like we know. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here you're seeing from Star now that there was a hiring post. It is now expired because this was back in October, I believe. Seeking talent from Manchester, England, United Kingdom, Liverpool, England, and United Kingdom roles, paying up to a 400-pound flat rate. The About the project, okay, this is where we get to the details, uh, casting an online commercial for a new handheld game console. Now, obviously, you know, Nintendo calls the Switch a home console, but the ad agencies might not necessarily do it, especially if it's a more handheld centric ad now what's the role in this project well the lead needs to be a male between the ages of 30 and 42 and it said a man awakens from a coma to see a lot has changed but awesome arcade games are easier to play now on this new handheld gaming console and for the requirement to how you need a, a headshot slash photo and a video reel date and locations well this shoot was between october 3rd or no, uh, october 13th or november 1st so whenever they were going to do it so whenever they hired someone either october 13th or a few weeks later on november first and there was the pay the key details we're seeking talent from that manchester it's pretty much the exact same stuff up there meals were provided so you need to pay for your own meals who knows how long the shoot actually was it was probably just one day of work now what's fascinating of course about this is that this could be related to nintendo switch 2 it could be a uk ad being shot so it could debut some point in early 2024 this is entirely possible now 
Would Nintendo do an ad about a man waking up from a coma? I'm not going to say that it's beyond Nintendo's capabilities. It's certainly a little out there for ads that they've done before, but also they've done ads in the past about mice chasing down uh, things and, and, and dying and all this other... Uh, Nintendo's had some pretty strange ads over the year, so I'm not going to say they're not willing to do this. But I, I, beyond that possibility, I also want to provide some clarity because this also could be what it's for. Because when I found out that this was for a UK ad, there was a product I've heard about before, but I couldn't remember what it was called. I had to should do some digging into this. And I found out this other product that is related to arcades that is a handheld coming out in the UK in early 2024, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing because it's actually pretty cool. It's called the Evercade EXP. Evercade makes uh, you know cartridge and retro systems. You can play retro games and arcade games. They already have a system out there called the Verse, I believe is the one. Uh, but they have this Evercade XA, uh, EXP play together thing coming out. You can order it right now. You can see what it costs. It's not too bad. Uh, around $200 USD, but you can just kind of see, you know, it uses its own cartridge system. You can see Capcom again, which, you know, we know that that company has partnered with before for commercials. Uh, 18 built-in games from Capcom. And again, as I noted, that place has worked with Capcom before. See, you can really see how this is lining up. It's retro. Uh, it's arcadey. I know the website's not fully loading here. Uh, so it comes with 18, plus you get your USB, your mini HDMI out. It lasts four to five hours. It's Wi-Fi. Uh, and obviously, you could take cartridges to expand and add more games. Like, they're going to have over 380 games uh, through the entire Evercade cartridge library. And the cartridges also work on their other system, I believe, as well. So they're cross-compatible. Uh, tech specs on it are 4.3-inch IPS screen, 800 by 480. Uh, the Tate mode for vertical screen orientation, 1.5 gigahertz processor, 4 gigabytes of internal memory, stereo speakers, USB-C charging. Thankfully, it's USB-C. Uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the 720p mini uh, HDMI output for TV. So if you want to play it on your TV, you could with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So I look, you see the list of games they have built in. So this very much, and maybe even likely is what this uh, commercial was for, but we don't know. And, and that's sort of the thing, because it never mentions it specifically for Evercade. We just know the premise of the commercial and arcade games. And look, you might go, well, why would Nintendo have a commercial for arcade games? It could be NSO related, right? That That's really the draw there is where this, it could be this big NSO thing. Maybe they're about to add a bunch of, a bunch of retro arcade games, even more to the library, and it could make a lot of sense. But again, this is something that we don't know, and it's for a new system. And to be fair, the Evercade EXP already has a number of commercials that have debuted already. This exact one, I, I, was, I looked up a bunch of Evercade commercials and couldn't find... One one that was related to a person waking up from a coma, and you know, right in my age group between 30 and 42. So I ha wasn't able to find a commercial that exists currently. So it could be a future commercial they plan to release. Maybe the commercial got scrapped altogether, or maybe it's not for the Evercade and it's actually for Nintendo Switch 2. And Nintendo's just going to sit on it, obviously, until the system debuts. And then it's one of the several commercial runs they might do. One advertising NSO and NSO improvements and extra games coming. Uh, one advertising new functionalities of the system. System, one advertising the new games coming. You know how it goes. When, when Nintendo's rolling on a new system, there's literally a bevy of different commercials in different territories, and almost every territory is completely different. The ones in the UK are different than the US commercials, which are completely different from the Japan commercials. So it's not unusual to have a wide array of commercials targeting different things, focusing on NSO and retro games, focusing on backwards compatibility, focusing on the new games coming out, focusing on just the additional new functionality and the new features, focusing on families, focusing on college age kids. Like it, this is pr pretty normal. So this could definitely be a Switch 2 commercial, even though I bet it's probably Evercade related if I had to venture to guess. So why are we talking about it if I think it's not Switch 2 related? Because... I, I think Switch 2 is coming. Look, I know we have rumors from Zuby Tech that says there's going to be a January event. January begins tomorrow. So the countdown begins for the supposed January event that Zuby Tech claimed he heard about. Uh, we've heard, you know, from people like Nate the Hate and others that they're expecting, they don't know for sure, but they're expecting possibly a March reveal. We know we have the Pokemon stuff happening in February, bare minimum, because they've already started advertising it. Pokemon Day is a thing happening in February, so we know we're going to get some game announcements then. 
probably a direct, right? Nintendo traditionally does a direct in the first three months of the year. Sometimes it's a little different in years where they announce systems where they delay the direct a month or two, but for the most part, we should expect a Nintendo direct. So we're going to have things happening in the first three months because right now Nintendo's lineup next year isn't fantastic. As much, you could be a massive fan of Thousand Year Door. You could be a massive fan of Princess Peach Showtime. You can be a massive fan of Luigi's Mansion 2, and that's fine, but those aren't system movers. Those aren't the kind of games that Nintendo's going to rely on being financial carriers for them all year long, right? There, there, there just needs to be more. So Nintendo not only needs to announce more games, it could be that they're holding back announcing games because they're waiting to reveal a system, and the system could be revealed fairly soon. So we just bring this up in case it happens to be a commercial for Nintendo Switch 2, and you happen to see this commercial out in the UK, and you're like, oh, this is for the Nintendo's new system, and the guy's waking up from a coma playing arcade games. Aha! I remember seeing that here and hearing about that. Although it could, again, be for Evercade, so if you're seeing Evercade commercials as well, maybe that's going to be the, the little light bulb going off in your head. Again, both of these systems actually sound pretty cool and target completely different audiences, but I'm just really excited for what Nintendo has coming. I hope you're excited for it as well. Uh, in case I don't see you again, you know, if you don't check out my live streams or anything else, uh, Happy New Year. I know we're not quite there yet. We will be streaming literally tomorrow night, so, you know, I will see you on New Year's Day, but you guys are amazing. You're awesome. I don't know if this is my only video today, but in case it is, Happy New Year's. And we'll catch you later.